Hey Sibs. I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to talk about this week, so I decided what I'm going to talk about is writer's block. And um, whether or not it really exists. Um, one of Mary's favorite authors is Nora Roberts. Um, I don't know if you guys have read her stuff. Uh, she started as a romance uh, author, and still most of what she writes is romance, but she also does another series under the pseudonym J.D. Robb, where it's uh, sort of a futuristic cop thriller um, with some romance involved. Um, her books are really very good. She's written probably over 200 by now, because I just saw an article um, saying that in 1996 she'd written like 160-something. And she publishes multiple every year. One of the reasons she publishes under a pseudonym J.D. Robb is that she was told when she came out with a new set of stories she wanted to publish, we're already publishing like two, three books by you a year. How can we possibly publish another one? We, we can't. It'll saturate the market. You have to use a different name. So, now... Um, one argument is that how can she, you know, how can she be so incredibly prolific? Uh, in a couple of her um, interviews, um, people have asked her about writer's block, and she just says, "I don't believe in it. It doesn't exist. I have more ideas than I could ever possibly uh, write uh, books for in my entire life." Um, and now, one you might argue, well, then her books must be crap, right? Because she's just churning out the same thing over and over. Well, no, they're not. I've read several of her books, certainly nowhere near all of them. Mary's may have read all of them. Um, and they're really quite good. I mean, they're maybe not Harry Potter good, but they're really good. Interesting characters, interesting plots, but, but I diverge. The point I'm getting at is she doesn't believe in writer's block. And what she says is that she has a very strict work schedule. She comes in every morning, she uh, reads her email, and then dives straight into work for like five hours straight, takes a quick break for like lunch and a snack, and then continues. So she has like a regular like eight hour writing work day. And no one's making her do that. She does that. And in one of her, uh, one of her interviews, or maybe it was a speech, I think she gave to a conference, she said she can fix a bad page. She can't fix one that's blank. So the point is, you get in there and you just write any crap down, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. You just write down whatever the heck crap comes to mind, and then you can throw it away if you want to. But the point, the very act of doing it gives you ideas. Um, and if you don't and you want to wait until you have some really good ideas, then you never write anything. Or if you're afraid to write stuff down because you're afraid it won't be any good, then you never write anything. So I'm taking that approach with this blog vlog. Oh, and Danielle, since uh, you basically, as a minister, must kind of write for a living, having to write sermons and such, I'd really be interested in hearing how you deal with uh, writer's block, and if you have these same issues. Um, another thing that uh, I've been thinking about lately is I get... I've been trying to be more effective at work, and not only at work, but at home as well. And part of the problem I've realized... Uh, and this is somewhat related to writer's block, is that I get I let myself be distracted by all kinds of little things. Um, I just came across a vlog post, um, and maybe I'll try and put it in the comments below for this um, for this video when I post it, um, where a writer was saying uh, she wrote this little short article on why does doing housework uh, seem more attractive than writing? It's the same sort of thing, right? Uh, you think, oh, well, I, I'll get to writing as soon as I go and uh, do the dishes or as soon as I go and, um, and do the laundry or whatever. And all the little tasks that yeah, they need to get done, they end up coming first because, oh, well, I'll get to writing as soon as I do this. Or I'll get to writing as soon as I do that. Um, or I'll get to it tomorrow. Um, she actually had another article. Same same writer. I don't know who this person is. I just was searching for in things on writer's block and came across her blog post. Um, the other thing that she she had another one. It's like three things that writers tell themselves, and only only one of them is true. Um, and one of them was um, that I'll get to it. I'll I won't write today. I can catch up tomorrow. No, not really. You have to keep writing every day. It's one thing for if you stop for an emergency, but if you just don't feel like it, bad idea. Uh, to the other one was... Uh, I've forgotten what it was. I'll have to edit this together. Um, 
So the other one was, because I just looked it up, um, I don't need to write my idea down. I'll remember it in the morning. <laughs> no. Uh, always write down your ideas when you get them. Have some convenient way to get it. And third of all, um, and this is the one that's actually true, I can write a better ending later. Or I can fix it later. And that is actually true. She says the, the important thing is to get something down. Again, back to what Nora Roberts says about you can fix a bad page. You can't fix one that's blank. Um, so that's, again, what I'm trying to do with this video. And, uh, Danielle, I would like to point out that I am also, again, using my cell phone. Uh, so the idea being that anybody could do this. I'm only taking a few minutes. So far, I have done this. I've spent about, oh, ten minutes, maybe, doing this. More time because I spent a while looking online, trying to find the Nora Roberts quotes and things, and then got distracted and did a lot of those things. And I'm telling you not to do in this video. So um, <laughs> don't follow that example. Follow this example where I'm just doing it without having a, a serious plan, right? Um, and maybe Dad will find this inspiring when he's because I know he's trying to work on his book, but yet I don't know how much work he's actually getting to put into it. So again, just write stuff. Just 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 write something, anything, any old crap. Just write it down because you can always fix it later. You can always throw it in the trash. But if you don't actually start writing, then your brain doesn't really start working and you don't really come up with any ideas. Um, I think that's enough for today. Uh, I'll hopefully have another topic. I'll have another topic next week. I hope you guys are having a great week and I love you lots. Bye.